That's just Taco and Jay. Uh, let me say uh, welcome, uh, welcome to uh, my second segment on the radio this afternoon. Uh, I'm broadcasting to you from Studio 901 of Radio LIB. Uh, my name is Max K. Or better stay, call me Max Mixer or Max Pacquiao. It's great to see uh, all of you, especially for some of you that are watching uh, live on Facebook this afternoon. Uh, let me say good afternoon to all of you that are stepping in the house right now. Hey, Shahid. Uh, are you back in the UK? Uh, Shahid, let me say how's up to you. I guess you stay in India. 
Mohamed Salia Dukli, my brother there in Australia, good afternoon as well. Uh, Mayfield Deco de Coho, a.k.a. Uh, Success B. Seon or Deconti, uh, good afternoon there in, uh, in Paris. It's great to see you in the house as well. Mother Rose Balzi, uh, good afternoon as well. Uh, there in the city of Sheffield, it's great to see you in the house. It's been a little while now. I can see you. I've not been seeing you. Vanilla Nelson, uh, how are you as well? And welcome to the show. I don't know from where you're watching, but it's great to see all of you uh, in the house uh, this afternoon with me and uh, show that a second segment of my time uh, this morning we're talking, we're discussing, uh, we're discussing. I will on the paper show this morning. There's a special topic I want to talk on this afternoon. It has to do with confirmation hearing in Liberia. I'm calling on our lawmakers to not take Conf confirmation hearing for granted. Confirmation hearing is one of those duties that we have elected you for. Confirmation hearing forms part of the responsibilities that we have given you as representative, as senators. Those are the duties that we thought you are suitable. You are the best candidate that can perform it. A confirmation hearing is necessary because it was enabled the government and those that are that are serving those the position that we, they will be facing the hearing for to serve the the, the, the disposition with the adequate re respect of the law. Confirmation hearing brings about checks on those that will face the committee. Confirmation hearing is important because people can be rejected based on their records. Confirmation hearing is important because people can be refused to uh, serve in that position they have been appointed by the president because of their track records. Confirmation hearing is important because enable those that are carrying the hearing, the lawmakers, to scrutinize wherever that will be before them in a way that they can be able to serve whatever position they have been appointed to diligently. But in Liberia, Our lawmakers have taken confirmation hear hearing for granted. Especially in the midst of all corruption and allegations of corruption that, that is always hanging over the house or those that are representing us. And unless our lawmakers, those that are given the responsibility to by voting them in power, unless they actually put this country first and the people of Liberia, most individuals that they are that are passing through this confirmation hearing will just be individuals that will plunge, continue to plunge this nation into what we are still going through. After, after our civil war, we have gone through 
But who will tell you we should be, we should stay be where we are? When you ask some of them, and, you know, government officials and or, or whatsoever, all they can tell you, oh yeah, we are not where we are, but we are not, or we are not where we're supposed to be, at least, but we are not where we, where we were. That's the only answer they gave you. Thinking that it's the best answer they're giving you. We are not where we supposed to be, but we we are not where we were. But where are we? We are coming now to 170 years. 170 years as a nation on this planet Earth. Countries that are even 50 years old are far, far ahead of us. But all of this is because the people that we are giving responsibility to are not well equipped. They are self-centered. And they only care for themselves. And when they get there, they forget about the rest of the country. Masses continue to suffer. I decided to talk on this um, on this story, uh, on this issue, because there's a story that that is on the newspaper front page Africa, which is right before me. And I will read that story. I uh, will read that story, and then before I come to talk more on this issue of uh, confirmation hearing shouldn't be taken for granted. My plea to our lawmakers. And who be lawmakers? Because there are some of you right now that are vying for this position. That you want to go in the house as a senator, you want to go in the house as representative. But how equipped are you? How prepared are you to lead our people? To lead, to, 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 to lead us with nothing behind you that will tint your image. That take confirmation hearing to be a joke. Look at what happened recently in the, in the, in the States. You will stand there for two, for two hours. And I be The 30 minutes say long. Some of them say, well, what we hear, they don't, they, they don't even get to go through there. And you see them going to serve their position as ministers or deputy ministers or so. Without, with, without proper, proper scrutinization. This paper came up yesterday uh, on the front page Africa. And I'm going to read it. Let me slow Katakunje a little bit. It came up yesterday on the front page Africa. It says here, found guilty for theft. U.S. court papers contradict sec sec secretly appointed Liberia Lepteco boss. Lepteco is the Liberia telecommunication. Found, found guilty for theft, U.S. court papers contradict secretly appointed Liberia Liptraco boss. And the big headline says convicted for theft. Convicted for theft. And I see the picture of the current managing director at the Liberia Telecommunication Corporation. And this is the story. A court document obtained from Front Page Africa reveals that the new managing director of Liberia Telecommunications Corporation, Lepterco, was convicted for stealing IT equipment belonging to Lee Community Schools in Florida, United States of America. 
It says here, court documents obtained from uh, by Front Page Africa reveals that the new managing director of Liberia Telecommunications Corporation, Lepteco, was convicted for stealing IT equipment belonging to Lee Community Schools in Florida, United States of America. In an op ed title, Setting the Record Straight, a, re a response from Dr. Darren Watkins, written by him and published in several local dailies and online portals, said though he was held for theft, it was simply because there was a pr procedural error in transferring the IT equipment to him for which he was called for questioning after his, uh, after his house was burglarized. According to his op eat, he was fined US three hundred dollars after his lawyers called for the dismissal for the case, adding that there was no admission of guilt. His publication was in response sorry, knowing that I had I had made poor judgment and settled for a mis misdemeanor. Miss Demenio paid a fine of 300 US dollars and the case was closed. I never went to jail. Please note that this was not an admission of guilt. It was just a way for the case to end quickly, he wrote. You say, now you steal, then you, you, go, you go pay. He, his publication, sorry, was in response to Front Page Africa, uh, Front Page Africa's report to once a theft, published on April eight, or on April eighteen, twenty seventeen, which sought to lay parallel Darren's criminal record in the United States and his new post as managing director of an. Government, government's entity, which pre previous head was also wrapped in a corruption scandal. Though Darren is uh, in his article claimed there was no admission of guilt, court documents discovered by FBA as from, uh, from page Africa shows that despite his not guilty plea and subsequent request for the dismissal of the case, the Lepteco chief was found guilty of petite theft, a first degree misdemeanor on September 3, 2010. He was fined US 300 and uh, he was found US 300 and also served a sentence. Hmm. The judgment. The defendant being personally before his uh, this court, accompanied by by the defendant's attorney of the record, Frank Paul de Picaldo, and have been uh, adjudicated guilty herein, and the court having given the defendant an opportunity to be heard and offer matter in mitigating of sentence and to show cause why the defendant should not be provided sentence by law and there was no cause being shown. It is the sentence of the court that the defendant is hereby committed to the sheriff of Lee County, Florida, be imprisoned, imprisoned for term of two days, Lee County Jail. Darren, the managing director of of the Liberia Telecommunication Corporation took over Lepteco, that's Liberia Telecommunication Corporation, after his former head, Sebastian Moore, disgracefully resigned. Moore left the entity when his secret investment over US two hundred thousand in the United in the in the Central African Republic was investigated and exposed by Front Page Africa. Watkins 
had worked in various capacities in the ICT sector for the government, including Ministry of Post and Telecommunications. He led the Innovation Department of Lepterco. He was later appointed to act as Chief Technology Officer, Deputy Managing Director for Technical Services by the Board of Directors and was eventually appointed through a resolution by the Board of Directors to head the corporation. According to him, he informed the, he informed the then head of the civil service, George Warner, of his record in the USA before entering government. So he so that means he told the people that he was he was a convicted criminal. Okay. Yet he was quietly appointed by the board of directors to head a corporation that had been wrecked by corruption. Being an employee of Lee County Schools in the capacity of tech Specialist in Florida, Watkins stole computers and other pieces of IT equipment, summing up an estimated amount of US fifty thousand US dollars. He was he was booked when his house in Florida, thirteen eleven James Avenue, was being burglarized, and a neighbor called law enforcement officers to report the burglary in progress. The neighbor told sheriffs that people were removing items from the house and putting them in a vehicle. Deputies stopped the vehicle a short distance away from the house. Inside, they found the items the neighbors described seeing taken. Watkins was reportedly contacted and allegedly said the items were his. Sheriffs arrested Isaiah Powell, 17, and Andre Taylor, 17, and William Rose, Rose, 15, for burglary and grand theft at Watkins. And investigators were going through the items in a vehicle. It was observed that a lot of the items seemed to be items from the school district. They learned the items had been taken from two different schools and that information was enough to get a search warrant for Watkins' home. There, Sherry's reported, reportedly found 107 pieces of computers, computer and electronics equipment taken from the school district, including some items that were brand new and still in their boxes. One item phone was was an industrial network router worth ten thousand United States dollars. The stolen equipment cost over US fifty thousand dollars from Page Africa Garden. Now let me before I come to my analysis um and the points I want to stress on the here this afternoon, let me uh, read some of the responses uh, from those that went online and read it and read the story what the librarians are saying emeka let me take it from emeka first emeka obia with me obia with me obia me we okay he say darren workings this looks like enough proof and can you clarify it as the record is all there damn it Okay, that's uh, uh, Emeka. Uh, let me see uh, what Jassy Buffy is saying. Proof. He's asking a question. Proof? Is this not e in e even evidence? Check the source, folks. Okay. Uh, let's get this one from uh, uh, Adikoyi Daro. He says, yeah, the truth is, is Darren work, uh, working stove from the school district in Florida. There's no other way to sugarcoat this scandal. Yes. And uh, uh, Winston White, he say, Emeka, you call that proof? Okay, uh, he just, uh, just a uh, uh, counter argument here. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's get from 
Okay, let's uh, get, get from Chris Toba. Chris Toba is saying here, when you pay a fine for committing a wrong act, you are admitting that you are guilty. It is the same as when, when you are given a traffic ticket by a police officer. If you feel you have done no wrong, you go to court and challenge the ticket and don't pay the fine. The simple thing to do in this in this uh, in this circumstance is to admit that you were young and foolish at the time and you did something stupid apologize to society to the liberian society and tell people you you uh you that you, and tell people you have learned from your mistakes and have paid your debt to society by offering a denier you are being you are not being man enough to own up to your mistakes and people who don't admit to their mistakes have the propensity to do the same thing again a hint to a wise is sufficient uh, that's uh, that's from chris toba there uh, uh, another selling point and java cross he said chris i couldn't have said it any better okay let me see uh, man, manning ego that is that is we want come okay <laughs> I think he's trying to speak Liberian Kuroka here he said that we want come home and develop Liberia we want dual citizenship or oh, dual citizenship which is hustlers okay 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 let me see Philip George yeah these diaspora Liberians gave us a bad name, no kidding. The saying, you can take a man out of a country, but you cannot take the country out of him. Is life and well with Liberians across the globe. Most Liberians are corrupt, no matter where they are. It is in their DNA. Corruption is the prime reason I stay out of Liberian organizations in the U.S., because one can't trust the folks with money. Okay, okay, uh, let's get another one. Uh, uh, see, uh, Joe Cassell, okay, uh, Sakote. Okay, uh, Momulu WP, we he say, as far as I am concerned, he's 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 joining a government made up of a huge bunch of rogues. I am sure Ellen knows his past criminal history, and that is why she feels he's very competent for his recruitive job. And these are the views after the story uh, 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 linking uh, the current managing director of the Liberia Telecommunication Corporation in Liberia, uh, Dr. Darren Watkins. Is even a, he even holds a doctorate degree, I don't know in what area, uh, convicted for theft. And I think... Um, and for us as Liberians, uh, I think uh, we need to be talking about some of these things. Um, but the where we get in the missing uh, or or where we get in the wrong, it starts from our lawmakers. I guess in this case, in this particular case, accordingly, uh, his appointment came from the board, from the board members of the Bureau of Telecommunication Corporation. And and the, these bulls are actually uh, created in a way that not only uh, the entity itself holds the membership of the board, the president will appoint you know, people from different, different backgrounds or so from different institutions to form a board for a particular entity. Now, if Dr. Dr. Watkins uh, was convicted in the United States of America for committing a crime worth 50,000 U.S. dollars and was sentenced 
whether he was whether he was uh, he was he, he served a sentence in jail or not whether he paid uh, fines or not the fact of the matter that he was convicted of of criminal offense makes him a criminal that's a criminal conviction he stole the court they went to court it was verified and it was it was old it was everything was up to the picture that he stole so what what is a big deal about it and this is quite quite wrong it is so wrong Liberia have reached to the point that each and every one of us are somehow responsible for what is happening the way this country is being run we elected our 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 lawmakers thinking that when they get there they will be able to serve this country diligently and one of the reasons they are there for is to scrutinize people to put them on the on the carpet to, to put them under the microscope and get whatever this they're supposed to get out of them by virtue of putting them under those microscope that people will even confess their past records dr Banz is telling us in this story that when he was serving as deputy he was uh, before uh, why why his predecessor was there and when he was asked to serve in the capacity to step in the shoes of his predecessor and he went before the board he is telling us that he told the board that he was a convicted criminal If he was a convicted criminal, then why was he given the chance to serve? Why? Why was he given the right to, to serve in this recruitive position? I'm going to take a short musical break, and uh, when I come back, I'll continue from there. Betray us. Yeah. They get loud, they get stupid, but not the 
Nobody. Yet again, Jesus, right, asking, the, I mean, saying those words, who shall we trust anymore? Even right now, as as we speak, the political the political heat is on. Elections is uh, process is ongoing. Soon, the election commission, the national election commission, will be announcing the official launching of, of campaigns or so. And right now, we are hearing all, all sorts of names. People fall and they say they want to get position, elected position, especially for the House or the both houses, the Senate and the lower house. Is this is the way you will, you are going to enter to enter the house and, and, and save your people? When we talk about issues like a confirmation hearing, confirmation hearing is nothing uh, to, to actually take for granted. Confirmation hearing shouldn't be taken for granted. Confirmation hearing shouldn't be done overnight. Confirmation hearing shouldn't be done through an exchange of envelopes. Confirmation hearing shouldn't be based on, on, on friendship basis. Confirmation hearing shouldn't be based on I know you and you know me, you, are, you have been my schoolmate, my former schoolmates also. No, it shouldn't be a family thing. Confirmation hearing shouldn't be something that you have sympathy for somebody. This is why the corruption is so much. How can you know, you, 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 you plainly know that this person has committed a crime. He, has, he, he or she has criminal conviction behind them. Then go give them position of trust. How can how can the man confess that yes, indeed, I was in America or working for schools as a, as a, as an IT specialist, and I stole people computers. I was sent to court. I was charged. And I was convicted. The individual confessed, according to him, he confessed to you. And still you gave him position. Liberia Telecommunication is the number one entity for uh, the, 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 the whole communication aspect of the Republic of Liberia. It's their, it's their voice. If you are vying for this position, we want you to go there with a clear mind. First of all, the very people that are even vying for this position, we don't even know, especially those that say, oh, yeah, we are new breeds, we want to go there and bring changes and whatsoever. We don't even know their characters, some of them. And some of them, of course, we are, we, we, we are seeing what, they, we are following them and seeing what they're doing, what is, how they're saying things, how they're handling things. But yet and still, we will go for on it and go and vote for them. And tomorrow when they, they begin to misbehave, to cheat the system, then we say yes. Then we start complaining also. But this, the issue of blind loyalists in Liberia is also causing problems. We will know, we will know definitely that this person, black and white, they are different from black and white but yet and still we go for for them even when other people try to come out and say well this person has a tinted record on them they will come to, to defend them why should we continue to 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 to, to live or to to carry our country in this kind of a direction you know somebody very, very well that they are corrupt. You know very, very well that perhaps you, you, you are living in the same community. They have a tinted image behind them. But tomorrow, if that person is vying for a position, all you do is you defend them. 
Right now, there are people who are defending this, this, uh, this, uh, the, L the LTC boss, the Liberal Telecommunication uh, Corporation boss. Despite the fact he has come over to admit that, yes, indeed, he stole the people's computers. 107 attempts, different attempts, worth, worth nearly 700, uh, let's say uh, 50,000 US dollars from schools. He was trusted. As, an, as a, as a com com computer specialist in the United States of America, trusted, employed. And then you go and, you know, take the people's materials and decide to use it for your own good use, for your own purpose. Today, this fellow ran away, I mean, because of, I, I guess that's why he left the U United States for, and, and gone back to Liberia. And, and then, he was he was being celebrated celebrated by giving him position you say yes you are a criminal in the states but here we can celebrate you here as a hero liberia man how, how will it come to move forward everything we do we do it only because how close we are to this individual. Uh, recently, just a couple of months ago, there was a story here in the United Kingdom where uh, this um, retired retired uh, priest, uh, he, he, he worked here, he also worked in some part of Africa and thing. It came up, a story came up, a stories came up that uh, um, the way he was, he, he was, you know, looking after young young people was not right uh he used to king them you know whip them whip them you know uh, uh, as a means of uh, uh re repentance and some of them today they are somewhere way in their sister also this story came out and some of them started confessing and started saying how how they were whipped by this man And later on, uh, the press put it behind him. He ran away. He went to another African country. They chased him there. What the daughter did when the when the press went to the daughter. The daughter said, "Well, I have seen the I have seen the video. I have seen the the testimony from people, and I have seen my picture being my my, my dad being put in the picture. I am so much disappointed in my dad. As I can speak to you right now." He will not be my dad on, until he, 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 he confessed to it and he faced the full weight of the law. And thereafter, he will be my dad. But I am ashamed of being called his daughter right now. That's how a true human being is supposed to behave. Not in Liberia. If that was in Liberia, somebody, friends or whosoever, they will be backing them even though they know very, very well that the person is guilty of the crime. The election is coming. They are around. They're going from one community to another. People that they, they, they have forgotten about for 12 years, today they are going there to meet with them. They are having Palava House meeting, uh, you know, community gatherings. Buying a few burger rice, bag of rice or so and cooking food and, and, you know, identifying with the children and identifying with the community. It's only now. Some of them, when they want to, they want to go back. That's why they're doing it. But how much work are they doing for us? How much work are they doing for the, the Republic of Liberia that will benefit the people? We elected you to represent us. We elected you with a mandate. And that ma mandate is to, to, uh, to represent the country diligently. If somebody has gone there, you know, whether this, if they're supposed to go or face a confirmation hearing, your responsibility is to put aside Every other, every other connection or whatsoever, whether you know them yesterday, you knew them yesterday, whether you were a schoolmate, whether you grew up in the same, in the same this town or district or so, at that confirmation hearing, 
everything is put aside. Everything. And you scrutinize them to the letter. This is why I can get a man, a man like this. How will he pass the confirmation hearing? Or how will he pass the board meeting? The board that appointed him as the full managing director of the library of telecommunication. How? If they have gone to work and, and maybe and done their work properly. Because the one thing I know is that, I mean, these, these um, uh, 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 countries that we're living in today, including the United, United States or West or whatever, the UK also, if you want to find out about somebody, you can find out about them, you can get their detail, whatever you want about them in the split of seconds. This is somebody that handle money for the country, uh, for the country entity, the Liberia Telecommunication Corporation. This is somebody that will enjoy all the benefit of taxpayers' money. If such person is convicted and openly tell you guys that yes, I was convicted. For stealing, <laughs> then you give them you give them the job as managing director of the country of the of the, of an entity of a government a governmental institution. Madam President, I think if you hear this story, you need to even fire that. You need you need to even reach out for the whole board. All of them, all of them that were that were sit that were seated that day. And made, and made this um, Dr. Darwin Watkins, the, 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 the managing director of, of the Library of Telecommunication, all of them should go. They are incompetent. They are. Except, Madam President, except you support, you support him fully. Uh, that, yeah, he's, he's capable to serve. Uh, that you want him to be there despite the fact he have this tinted, huge tinted record behind him. If his boss, his predecessor, what, what did he do? They may stole huge amount of money. Over 200,000 United States dollars. And they may even in, invest in, in his country. Central African Republic, they may have gone there. Our understanding is that the man is running a casino there, paying taxes to the government there, paying workers to the government, uh, to, 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 to citizens there. Is this the love that we have for our country? You have stolen the money from us. Let's put it that way. Because up to now, they are, I mean, we can't even hear anything anymore about this story. Because he, he left, he resigned, and he's gone. Who is a loser? We, the Liberian people. Yes, uh, yes let's agree. If, he, if the, the investment he did in Central African Republic, if he have done that in Liberia, fine. Our people will be employed? Yes. He will be paying taxes? But this, this is where it hurts more. You take the money and you go into different country. You invest your money there. The country there enjoying it. Even though the way you got the money is, is hugely, hugely tinted. Unless, like, unless we wake up, even this coming elections, you know, unless God help us and guide us really, really, really well, there are people that have been misled already. 
They don't even know what sort of leader they want. If you can wake up in the morning and, and, and shout shout out people or insult people or you can wake up in the morning and you know and say a, you say all sort of rubbish about other people fine the people say oh this person can talk good one this person they don't even know the person background but by the time that person get there well they become an ego who gonna reach him or her nobody we don't get time for that one I would say yes. This this person is talking good, or can talk plenty. Oh, the person know how to how to attack other people. Oh, this person they really know how to abuse other people. Yeah, cause them good also. Is that how to advocate? Or is that how to be a good politician? Our lawmaker, we please we asking you. The mandate we gave you, we have given you, you need to do it. The issue of requesting for people to face your, 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 your committees, the various committees, are some of those aspects that you need to put into use. You have the mandate, you have the power to invite to someone, any, any, any government official also, any minister for that matter, any deputy minister for that matter, and question them on issues of national concern. But sometimes your citizen will cry, cry, cry. Look at the issue of LEC today. How many times have we not been calling on the government to do something about LEC? I came here and spoke almost an hour and calling on the government to, to actually reshuffle the entire management of LEC. That they, none of them there fit for purpose. Calling on, on, on the House Committee that is responsible for, uh, for, for, the, for the LEC to invite the management to go and explain why are Liberian people not getting the services they deserve? They have paid for. And most of this thing, once it's done overnight, it's finished. The poor people, the, 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 the common people will continue to cry, 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 and nobody get time to listen. Nobody get time to, 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 to do something about it. They right now, when you go in Monrovia between now and election time, the cars that they will be using to, to, to campaign, all of them will be white windows. You can st stand far distance, you see who is inside. The, window, the windows will be down and they will be waving and, and thing. But by the time they get to that position and they get their, they, they, they get their sponsors, they, their sponsor, the sponsored car, cars that car the windows everything will change to black you will never ever see them again you won't see them because the, tint, the window will be so much tinted dark to the extent that you won't even tell who is that in a car it could be your 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 next door neighbor who is your representative but you don't you don't even get to see them anymore that's how we behave that's how we behave. So, uh, finally, my advice as well to uh, to our listeners, especially for some of you that are in Liberia and right now listening to the broadcast or watching it live, let's do it wisely. And my brother is uh, Stanley is staying here. Stanley George is staying here. Enough is enough. We shouldn't sell our votes. Like, 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 like he's saying here, we shouldn't sell it. Go and demonstrate your political franchise deep down from the bottom of your heart. Scrutinize them. Follow their, follow, follow their, follow everything that they've been doing. Let's sit down and think. 
when are they fit to serve you in that capacity? And then you can make your decision. Don't follow the crowd. Don't follow the crowd. Because you, you'll be misled. A lot of them are just doing it. They're just going to use you for that second. That one second or so. Because that, that's one second you're going to take to put, to, to, to put that cross and put it in that box. That's it. You're either going to make it right for the long good time or you're going to make it wrong for a very, very, very long time. Abira, we have to move forward. I want to say thank you so much uh, for giving me your your time and your attention this this, this afternoon on this uh, on this second segment of my time. I will be back later on this evening. I uh, will be getting updates from Sano County. I uh, respect to what is uh, happening there. Strange, strange things going on there where we have lost nearly nine people already died yesterday morning we'll be getting updates from there later on this evening when i'm back on the radio i want to say thank you so much for all of you that are listening via the internet and those of you that are also following via the uh, via facebook uh thank you so much for your support and uh if you want to continue listening to radio lib uh, which is 24 24 hours as uh, radio radio uh, service here you can log on to www.radiolib.com www.radiolib.com or you can go on my page there's a link there uh, radio lib link that you just click and you automatically will start playing on your device until then i'll say thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now